And I thought I'd put this up, folks, um, in the spirit of being vulnerable. Uh, and it's in the book as well. Um, when Graham suggested that I do this for my team uh, in, a, in a building we affectionately refer to as the Green Brain on the corner of La Trobe and, and Swanson Street, and little did I know at the time that it would actually be the last time we'd all be in a, a room physically together for quite some time, he gave me this challenge, and this is the actual email. Martin, I'm asking you to reflect on your deepest, strongest personal values. The values that when all clarity and certainty are stripped away, you can turn to and use to guide the decisions you make for yourself, your team, and the whole community relying on your leadership. Take as much time as you need. And I, we did this over a couple of weeks. Think back through your early years, speak to those closest to you. And when you're ready, come back to me with the two or three values you are ready to anchor on, no matter what happens. When you've found those values, it's time to sit with your team and tell the story. Help them to understand what these values mean to you and at an emotional level, be vulnerable. Make sure they know that these are your true north. They will follow you. And folks, it took quite a while for me to really dig deep and find out what those personal values were for me. And even more time for Graham to coax out of me the story or the narrative about each of those values. But I've got to tell you, when I shared with my team that it was courage, care, and mateship were the things that I deeply held within me that fueled me to work with them to get through the pandemic, it, as you could imagine, there weren't many dry eyes in the room. And then what that unlocked was a sharing of values that culminated in our collective true north